Welcome to another edition of Samilcast. Welcome to Blake Street Tavern. This is a home this week of Wrigley Field West. That means Cubs fans are in town. Cubs fans from around town are gathering here to watch their favorite team play the Rockies. Now, when you talk about Cub fans, you talk about things like long suffering and frustration. And you hate to say that because these are fun loving baseball fans, but then they have the shirt that says, 100 years of frustration. They think that this is the year. So we went inside and we talked to Cub fans and we'll let them tell you if this is the year of the Cub. This is your week or your time. The Cubs are here. Two days. Let's play a little word association. All right, let's go. I say some names. Charlie Root. Before my time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Before my time. Steve Martin. Oh. Who? <laughs> oh, that's that's a foul ball if you know what I mean. Rick Russell. <laughs> Must be before 1982. <laughs> it's not every day that I get to interview a cub. Oh, a special cub. Great. There you go. Uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, a hairy cub. The hairy bear. <laughs> so as a famous reporter once asked a quarterback in the Super Bowl, how long have you been a cup? All my life. <laughs> I can't believe I'm talking to a cup. It's just like Cub Nations, Cub West. Oh, yeah. Yet you're not seeing it for the Cubs. What, what, what makes you feel that this is not their year? They've been waiting for 99 years. What makes you feel this is not their year? Uh, well, they're off to a good start. I think they're 14 and 6, but you know, I, I think they got to weed their way through a tough National League, and uh, they may make the playoffs again, but uh, I think a team from the NL West to pull it out. Really? Mm-hmm. You like the Rockies? Well, uh, you know, uh, I pull for the hometown team. Well, I appreciate your time. Uh, you, you know, you look familiar to me. Uh, Sam, I, I apologize. We, we may have met once or twice, but uh, I'm not sure. I think you'll figure it out. All right. Well, well thanks, man. Thank I you. appreciate it. That dude look. Uh, I'm certain he played for the Rockies. I want you to give us your best Harry Carey. Oh, I don't know. No Come on now. Harry Carey, buddy. <laughs> This is always the highlight of the show. Oh, who's, <laughs> my lens is falling out. <laughs> Don't worry, it probably happened to Harry, too. <laughs> <laughs> if the moon was made of spare ribs, would you eat it? <laughs> I would. <laughs> I would. Harry Carey. All right. He's our man. You, you're, you're Chicago. Now I need my beer. Sam? Sam? Sam Adams? A one. A uh, two, a uh, three. Line drive it is. Fair ball. Here's the winning run. Sanchez around third. He is. Cubs win. Cubs win. Oh, is that a happy ball club? <laughs> well, there you have it from Blake Street Tavern, where a Cub fan believes that this is the year, even though they really don't want to tell you that this year is the year. It's been a hundred years. I can share their frustrations, but you know what? Maybe this is the year. Maybe this is the year of the Cub. And as Harry Carey might say, Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching another edition of Samblecast. Tune in again tomorrow on the RockyMountainNews.com. Bye!